Are you an American? Yes. And you don't want to put America first? No. Here is a woman. There were many protests, pro uh, Hamas protests in New York City, and they're showing Nazi flags and you know, great, great group of people, and they're in New York City, and who knows how many of them we just let into the country. Uh, here's a woman. Uh, I, she's not really into America, it doesn't seem like. I spoke to a guy before this, and he said America first. You weren't happy with that. Why? Israel would not exist without America. So no America first for you? No. Are you an American? Yes. And you don't want to put America first? No. No America first for her. Uh, the idea that Israel would not exist without America is also not true. When the British Empire ended in 1948, they left, the British left, and then there was just land there, right? There was just land. They had offered, we went through this yesterday, they had offered to divvy it up. Hey, you guys, you Arabs, there were no Palestinians at the time. It was not a people that existed. You Arabs will get some. There was a, the 1947 UN partition plan. You Arabs will get some, you Jews will get some. Israel would have been much smaller than it is today, but the Jews said, okay, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it, it would be nice. You know, we just got holocausted. It would be pretty nice to have a little something that we could call ours and not be hunted and hounded down as we have throughout our history. The Arabs said, no, launch a war, lost, blah, blah, blah. But the point is, uh, they didn't get the state because America. America did recognize the state shortly after. Harry Truman did recognize the state, I think about a day after. Um, but the, but the, they got a state by living on the land and create taking a desert and turning it into a paradise that is, that is now, unfortunately, not much of a paradise. Uh, but these protesters, and they're, they're telling you who they are, right? Like they're telling you. They're telling you, we sympathize with people who murder babies and everything else. And at what point, I don't know exactly what the point is now, and I think we're gonna really have to rethink this. And I, and I as a, look, I was put on the map in large part as a, as a free speech advocate, right? For someone that was fighting for free speech. At what point, if all of your allegiances as an American are to foreign terrorist organizations and you excuse and celebrate the murder of innocent people all over the world, at what point uh, do we have a problem on our hands here in America?